The peppered moth is an insect with pepper colored wings. This is where their name originated. The peppered moths are small insects and they have very small wings. They are only about 45 to 62 millimeters. There are two types of peppered moths. The first type is the dark variety of peppered moths. The second type is the light variety of peppered moths. The only difference between these two kind is one is darker than the other. The pepper and moss are located in England, North America, and Europe. They live in forests where there's a lot of trees. When they rest, they settle by trees, speckled ivory, which is a dark type of tree that consists of a dark color, leaves, and plants. The white color of peppered moths have gone down. The reason why is because of their white-like appearance, so they can't camouflage against the dark trees. They have gone down with 2%. During the 19th century in Britain, the factory started to develop because of the Industrial Revolution. This killed the lichens growing on the trees, which made them darker. Dark moths were very rare. There weren't very many of them, and they didn't camouflage well. But as the trees went darker, they camouflaged better. So birds went from eating white-colored moths to darker-colored moths. So this meant that the population of moths went from lots of pale moths to lots of dark moths. Peppered moth eggs hatch during the midsummer. The larvae, also known as the caterpillars, feed on the birch, willow, and oak trees. They look like a small branch. Because they are such like a small branch, they can camouflage by their predators. In the cold weather, it is difficult for them to survive. To avoid death, they have to change into a cocoon for the winter. In April and May, the cocoons have to open and change into a new adult moth. These moths will lay eggs and die by the end of summer. No peppered moth lives more than one year. While the general peppered moth is light, some have dark close to black bodies. These moths are given the name called Carbonaria. Peppered moths only eat leaves since they are so small and they are insects. They eat the leaves of lime, birch trees, hawthorn, willow trees, oak trees, and roses. In the 1950s, a man called Henry David Bernard Kettlewell did an experiment to find out if the natural selection raised the population of the dark peppered moth. He thought that if it was true, that the change in peppered population and color did happen because of natural selection, that these things would be true. Heavily polluted environments would have the most dark peppered moth. Unpolluted areas would have the most light peppered moth. Furthermore, if a white colored peppered moth would rest on a light tree, it would camouflage and not get eaten by birds. But if, it, if a dark peppered moth would rest on a light tree, it would get eaten. Dark moths that was released into polluted areas would live longer, and white moths would live longer in clean areas. But if it was opposite for both, they would die much sooner. Etymologists from England would help Kettlewell find out the population of the different colored moths. Their results showed that there were more dark peppered moths near the industrial cities filled with pollution, and more white peppered moths near the countryside where there wasn't any pollution. He then also looked at past experiments on the peppered moth. He realized that there were almost no dark peppered moths before the Industrial Revolution. He then also put white and dark moths onto tree trunks and observed which ones would be eaten by birds and how many of them. He saw that on dark tree trunks, lighter moths would be eaten more. This supported his idea that in dark forests, darker moths would survive better. Later on, the moths changed color to the color of the trees to camouflage better. He decided that the best way to explain this was by natural selection. Kettlewell's experiment is a classic example of natural selection.